This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. <laughs> One area of the kind of guitar world that I think is a little bit underrepresented is the clean side of kind of guitar plugins. I think we see from folks like Neural DSP, STL Tones, uh, all of the kind of usual players, quite a lot of heavier bass stuff, you know, whether it's PV 5150s or PV 5150s or EVH 5150s. There are a couple of exceptions like the Corey Wong thing, which has, you know, quite a lot of clean tones and then also you've got the neural dsp tone king imperial and uh, fuse audio actually have a tweed based plugin which is really cool um but this one kind of came out of nowhere for me um mixwave have done the benson uh, amps stuff which i've not tried um but 
Jake Loosemore just sent me this Instagram post because they just launched this Milkman Creamer plugin. If you're not aware of Milkman amps, they're like boutique versions of more or less Fender circuits, more or less, with Jupiter brands, which are kind of these high-end speakers that they stick in them. And the Creamer itself is, I think, kind of loosely based on a Princeton, but with some changes to like cathode bias and stuff. In any case, I think this is definitely a plugin for you guys that are into that kind of Fender sound. For me, what I'd uh, identify as going on here, it's kind of this really spanky tone, which has this kind of, would you call it like hollow mids? Um, maybe some something scooped in the mids, kind of a glassiness to the tone, but also a bounciness to the tone. Um, this is a thing that I've never really found on any other amps except for kind of Fender amps. Um, and I really do feel like it's the best clean tone in the world. Uh, I've plugged into something like a Fender Bassman 100. I've got a Fender Pro Reverb, which is going to the shop to get fixed today. Cheers, Jake. And um, yeah, they're, they're just a real huge life to the tones. And this is the first time that in plug-in format, I think I've really kind of encountered this sort of thing. Downside to this, I think it's not super expensive, but about the same sort of money as you pay for like a archetype suite or that sort of thing. Um, if you're going to use it lots, then that's a good thing. But there's a seven day free trial, which is what I'm using here in any case. So that's kind of, you know, if it ends up being expensive for you, sorry. But um, I think it's a, the first time that I've found these sorts of clean tones from a plugin. Uh, this isn't a sponsored video, by the way. I just found the thing and downloaded a trial and was really excited by it. The other slight maybe downside might be the kind of effects in there and are not necessarily kind of the things that I gravitate towards. So like slapback delay, uh, there's this like flip top boost thing. Um, maybe for me, a tube screamer would have been an obvious choice to include with this style of amp. Yes, it's Fender based, but you can kind of crank a Fender and get quite a lot of gain out of these things. Uh, after all, these types of circuits would then be kind of modified by Marshall and stuff to, to get higher gain amps and, and so on. But anyway, yeah, let's just get in it. I'll, I'll, I'll check it out. Um, let me know if you've got other suggestions for kind of great clean plugins. I think there's a, a fairly short list for this, but uh, for me, this one's gone right to the to the top of the list. Um, really excited by that. And for me, it, it is kind of doing that Fender thing in spades, which is not always that easy to, to achieve without actually grabbing out your fender amp and then playing around with it also the reverb on it i think the drip reverb the spring reverb just sounds incredible and the the only other time that i can remember being this excited by like a spring reverb emulation was in the universal audio dream 65 so for me i think that's fairly fairly high kind of stakes um great work and give it a try maybe you probably won't have seen loads on this because it doesn't seem like Mixwave have a huge marketing budget whereas folks like Neural DSP it seems every time there's a launch there's a whole chunk of budget which is assigned to getting people on YouTube to do demos of it as well then I see loads and loads of Facebook ad Facebook adverts so obviously they pump a lot into marketing these things I think that probably is what is necessary to really get the word out on these plugins but I can try in some way to kind of at least say this one I think is definitely worth having a look at uh, if you're into clean tones because for clean tones I think we're generally a little bit under, underserved as the guitar playing public. Anyway enough talking let's just jump in. Um, this is set up it looks more or less I'd say like something your DSP might make maybe slightly different. What we've got here an oversampling option which is really nice. Uh, eight times oversampling would be something like Axe Effects type quality. Any lower than that, uh, you'd be getting more kind of into quad cortex type territory. Um, I, it might not be a huge issue with this type of amp, but I think at one or two times, if you start to drive this a bit, you would start to hear aliasing potentially if you're uh, kind of sensitive to it. So eight times is where I'd set it because my computer can cope with it. So um, when you first... Definitely. 
definitely kind of a Fender Princeton Deluxe Reverb type tone. Uh, I really enjoy this reverb on here. Just really beautiful straight off the bat. There's a load of other kind of presets in here. So let's try a massive clean stereo. delay here that we can use I think this is clearly based on something JHS <laughs> So not the most useful delay of all time, uh, kind of slappy bass. This is the back side. No, this is just the tremolo. So we got. change the diodes here
Um, so. <laughs> block as well we've got some options around sort of your normal mic stuff I think you've got kind of you can change each speaker and each cab uh, uh, each mic sorry as well as changing speakers so really quite a lot of tweakability here uh, you've got options of the Jupiter kind of speakers um, which are in the Milkman's really really nice kind of lightweight but decent sounding speakers <laughs> switch which kind of kind of EQ some stuff around um, yeah I mean what's not to like about this there's really simple um, but great sounding stuff and I mean Certainly if I'm using heavier tones like that I'd be wanting to oversample. here as well which is handy so you know a way to avoid clipping um, I think I don't know this to me seems like gate in case you want to get rid of some of those single coil <laughs>
all in all, I'm super, super, super impressed with that. Um, you know, it's not cheap, but it's got a bunch of really good features there. And I think really does sound pretty good to me, at least. <laughs> Keep that oversampling as high as you can. Just to me, that's doing a lot of the stuff that I like. Get heavy, heavy tones out of it, not so much. Silly there. Uh, can we turn the just general level down here? Pass filters here as well. Pulses. 